HTML5 code element and pre-element. That's what we're going to look at. If I view this sample page on a browser right now, I end up seeing something like this. And it seems like this, what I've highlighted, looks like a code. Computer programming code and so on, right? But now, HTML5 gives us the option to say code, but by using the code tag. And then after our code that we want to put on our web pages, we can close the code tag. Now, if I save this document and preview it on a browser, nothing has really changed apart from semantically that is now assured as far as we're saying we're putting code and this is the code. Yeah, it is actually a good practice to utilize the pre-formatted pre tag to wrap your code tag itself. Let me paste the meaning of pre-element itself. So we're basically this is a best practice so I wanted to include that for you. So now let me preview this on a browser. As you can see uh, the styling as in representation has changed a little because we use the pre tag. It is pre formatting what comes within the pre tag. In this example, the entire code element. So we have in HTML5 to represent code by using the code tag, and it is actually smart practice. If you're going to present the code to the normal website visitors is to wrap that within pre-element so that the entire code is pre-formatted and I'll talk with you in the next video session.